Hi everyone, I'm JD from Willowbound Journals and I am very excited to share with you these boho journal covers that I had fun making. Uh, a little while ago on my channel I shared the process of decorating one of these covers and I said that I'd come back once I'd done some more so I'll give you a look at them all and I love how they turned out with the beautiful trims and the gold and the sari silk love love the feature of the gold piece that one i believe i got from oh what was it global land and this one here just mixing and matching the different trims the different colors and then this one i did something a bit different it's a slightly different uh cover size got a bit wider spine and it was a shinier fabric so this one I had a whole bunch of teal trims and I got all of these trims aside from the gold from Boho Tree on Etsy. So look at that, absolutely stunning. I do have a bunch more of the teal colored trims because I got a teal colored pack um, and then I chose specifically chose these particular trims. These ones I got in like a scrap pack bundle so I'll show you my little um, basket of goodies here so there's the lace feature from global land then we've got the teal trims underneath there we've got the ones they specifically chose over here we have the scrap pack of all different saris that's how I build up my base and this is what I use for the, um, well, the actual very base of the cover. So I saved one piece left because I'm going to share a tutorial of a start to finish series showing you how I make this cover over on my Patreon. So for those who don't know, every month I do a different start to finish journal making series over on my Patreon. Uh, last month I just finished these, this collection here of the vintage fashion journals using the Australian Home magazines. So that was really fun. We did five in that collection. This time to do something a bit different, I'm going to share my process of how I make the cover from start to finish. So this is the base that I work with. It's just, as you can see, a pasta box, but you can use any box really. I can't remember which box I used for this wider spine. And it's a bit shorter, a bit wider here. Um, but you know, just an example of you can use different types of boxes. Um, I really like this size. I've used this size quite a lot for different journals. For example, here's another one. This is one of my French, uh, vintage French journals, and I used fabric to cover this pasta box. So same box right here. And it's just got a really lovely um, spine size for three signatures that are embellished. So yeah, I will show you how I take apart this box and how I decorate it and add the front and back base. This was actually, all of these bases were from a dress. I wore the dress twice. I bought it from an op shop as a costume. Um, I was playing Ulietta from Encanto and then I wore it once to a wedding. And then after that, <laughs> I cut it up because I thought it was the perfect teal color, beautiful and vibrant and silky for these boho journals. So yes, that's how I made the covers. And I've got one piece left for this final cover. And then I just use a vintage ledger, one of my favorite vintage ledgers, and I'll show you the ledger um, in that patron video. Um, it's giant. Uh, and that's how I lined the inside. You can definitely use fabric or um, scrapbook paper, decorative paper for the inside. But what I'm wanting to do is create some vintage boho journals. So I wanted the boho on the front and then the vintage on the inside. So you know straight away it is going to be a boho vintage journal. So, and then with all of these, I will make some more covers. Um, but there's going to be a lot left over, so that's what I'm going to use to embellish these journals, the pages, the journal cards and tags. I'll use this to um, add some trim 
to each of the elements so yeah i am excited for this project it has been a long time in the making uh, but i am happy with how these covers turned out i was a little intimidated to start off with i was like what am i doing i have no idea how to use these beautiful pieces um, but i'm very happy with how they turned out and i'll have to think about how i make some other covers uh, now that i'm going to run out of this uh, green fabric but i think what i'll use is you know i've got a lot of this sari silk so i think i'll patchwork together some covers afterwards and keep on using the trims to decorate so yeah i love how they've turned out and i'm excited to share the process so if you would like to see how i make um, one of the covers from start to finish the link down below th there's a link down below to my patreon you also get access to every previous journal making series on um, on my patreon there and depending on your tier level there's different tiers for those who don't know patreon is just a way that you can support your favorite creators or creators that you want to see more from um, and as well it's a way to get extra videos um, and for different tiers you can get every printable from my etsy you get access to all of those on my patreon plus a new one every month um, you also get access to depending on your tier level mail sent to you of those printables or a small happy mail or a journal sent to you in the mail or a large happy mail or a paper pack <laughs> it's just different every month um and yeah just a huge huge thank you to all my patrons shout out to them who supported me in october you guys are absolutely amazing you definitely make a difference in my life i could not do this without you you allow me to um, work on willow bound journals full time and make my creative dreams come true so thank you thank you so much to you all um, and yeah it's a new month it's november and i'm excited for this new series <laughs> so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye guys a huge thank you to my beautiful patrons who supported me in the month of October. I appreciate you so much. You allow me to do what I do here on YouTube, making journals, teaching journaling courses and running workshops. If you would like to support Willowbound Journals, you can become a patron by clicking the link down below in the description box. Or you can also support my channel by becoming a member of my channel by clicking the join button. Uh, so that is where you get access to member videos and all patrons also get access to member videos over on my Patreon. Uh, patrons also get access to the journal making videos as well as printables each month and the Ruby patrons get access to every single printable kit in my Etsy. There are mail tiers as well where I send goodies to you in the mail. So hopefully there is something for everyone who would like to support Willowbound Journals.